Hey guys, Guy Level here, and today we're going to be talking about why you should pick a color scheme or palette to establish your image as a content creator. Whether we think about it or not, our brains create memories based on different things. So when you're thinking of someone, usually your brain will assimilate anything they can find on that person, whether it's smell, whether it's something visual, color, whether it's sound. In this case, obviously we're talking about colors. We obviously know this is true when it comes to companies, when it comes to brands, especially when it comes to food companies, right? If I say Coca-Cola, you're immediately thinking about white and red. If I say Pepsi, you're thinking blue and red. This is all easy because you've seen advertisement for these products over and over again. And you probably didn't think that your brain would do the same link between people and colors. And even if you never thought about it, if I started listing famous top content creators on whatever platform, you will see that you will absolutely know what colors represent those content creators. If I say PewDiePie, for example, you're either thinking about the blue brofist or the little wavy pattern he has. If I say Shroud, you're thinking light blue and white because this is the colors that he wears a lot, but also the colors of uh, Cloud9, which is his team. If I say Lyric, you will think about all the logos he had in the past. It's usually a dark gray and white. And if I say the Doc, then come on, red and black, easy. So during my stream review live streams here on YouTube, I see a lot of people having cool graphics for their offline screen, their avatar, their panels, but none of them match. So this is why it really should match. You should think about your favorite colors or what type of colors would represent your brand. The number of colors should be between one and three. Over three, it's getting complicated for anyone's mind to remember exactly what your brand is. Something I like to do as a graphic designer is pick two colors and then the third color would be black and white or any shade in between. Now I'm talking about it like you were about to make your own graphic design. So yes, if you are doing your own graphic design, then you should pick the colors and then do your thing and try to make every single thing match if possible on every single social media so that visual represents you and every time someone sees those colors they will think of you immediately now if you do not know how to do graphic design and you are thinking about hiring someone you can give one or two colors but really you should let the graphic designer decide because they will know which colors match together perfectly. So if you're not a graphic designer, don't be too harsh on the people you pay to make your designs because honestly, they've been doing graphic designer for I, I don't know how long. And if you don't know, you should let them take a couple of decisions. Other than that, what you need to do is keep everything simple, as simple as possible so that a quick glance at any image coming from you will let people automatically know that oh this is this person right of course the logo plays a huge part on recognition but if your logo is on a different colored background every single time people that will make it harder for people to remember and even harder to grow attached to it so that's why it's very very important to establish an image for your brand because you may not think about it maybe you started uploading to youtube you just started streaming on twitch but if you want to have a chance at being successful you're gonna have to start thinking like someone who wants to be successful the oh i'm just gonna stream on twitch or i'm just gonna upload to youtube mentality uh needs to stop at some point if you wish to make it anything serious of course you can use those as a hobby not criticizing but my videos are directed towards people that are really trying to make a career out of it I recently opened up my Discord to the public and my goal is to get people in that have the same mentality as most of my subs do. So trying to build a career and trying to take trying to take trying to take things seriously. English isn't my first language. So if you're one of those, then you can join. The link will be in the description. Other than that, I'll put some social media up there. Twitter, I think we just hit 600 followers on Twitter, which is great. Tomorrow's my birthday and we might hit 1 million views on YouTube. So I'm kind of excited for that. If we don't hit, hit it tomorrow, we'll probably hit it the, the next day. Anyways, keep an eye on my Gumroad page. That's gumroad.com slash get level. I will be releasing some holiday themed overlay packs. 
and I kind of went all out when it comes to that. There will be a video when they're actually available. But that was it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching the video. I've been getting a lot of support lately. I will see you guys next time. Get level out.